0.2015, this 8-month-old female pup came in with pimples on the, on the ear, this side and this side the ears, and pimples here, and pimples under the chin. That means they are pus inside. That was nine days ago. And uh, so, one, one reason is allergy. So this pup has been biting the plastic handles of the bed. The, grandmother, uh, the mother's, grandmother's bed was uh, had plastic handles. There is one possibility, the cause. And uh, you can see that uh, there's a reaction, it's quite bad. And then uh, here, on the side, you can see on the side, and on this side, the left side, huh? the left side. Now, you come over inside and see the armpit here. This is bad, the, the left armpit area. There are a lot of these lumps. And uh, other than that, the right one is okay. Come to the right. Come to the right side. The right armpit is okay, normal. The armpit is normal. But of all the four paws, one paw has these lumps as well. You see the lumps appearing? This is due to the pup biting the paws. So the blood test shows that there's normal hematology. The total white cell count and red cell counts are normal. And so now we have to check whether this is due to bacteria, ringworm or bacteria, fungus or mites. Now mites will be most likely demodetic mites or scabies mites. Because scabies also affect the ears and they can spread. They can spread to the whole whole uh, face. So now I'm doing the I'm doing, I'm checking for ringworm, so I will look for those hairs, but there's not much hair here, so I get some hairs from here, onto the tip here, <coughs> check for ringworms. Check for ringworm. No, there's not much hair because uh, this one has very little hair. So I can, I can put that and then put on the, on the slide here. So this will be to check for ringworms. Now I, I will be checking for scabies mites or demodetic mites. Now normally you need to do six areas. I have really here six areas. So the, the first area I will scrape is the face. Normally you put a drop of oil in here. Okay, so I do the scraping now. I look for okay, I look for the chin first. Now you can scrape quite deep in. Oh, I scrape here. Scrape until you bleed. Okay, one area. I put only here. One area is not enough. Normally you should scrape six areas. Six areas, there is one area. So now I look for this, uh, the leg here. Not your whole puppy can. So uh, I will scrape the skin uh, until it bleeds. Now this part is very young, so very uh, active. Okay, let's scrape. Scrape until bleeding because the mites are under the skin. If, if you don't scrape deep, you may not find anything. Okay, number two, second area. So we do three areas today first. Okay, one more area now. I will do the ears, the ears, so the assistant hold the hook properly, the ears there. Yeah. Okay, scrape here. 
This is scratch until bleeding, eh? Blood. Ah, this one is good. So, for this microscope uh, demonstration, I will just do three. So we check three first, and uh, if if we find any mites, then we don't need to go further. I suspect either scabies or dermatitis mites. Scabies or dermatitis mites. Then, uh, then the 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 other test I I will be doing is to put the dog under anesthetic and then get a piece of the skin by biopsy and send to the lab. The best is to get one of these uh, lumps because this could be an autoimmune disease. So we send the lump. Most likely this, this, uh, one of these lumps here. There. Yeah. Let's do a biopsy, cut and then send to the lab. This will be done tomorrow. Okay, finish with it.